Folks, we have a special edition of Football Friday Night here. The high schoolers not the only ones in action tonight. The Kansas Jayhawks searching for an identity at Southern Miss, and we found out they may be a lot closer to the team that lost Johnson. to North Dakota State than the one that beat Georgia Tech. 7-3 Golden Eagles when Desmond Johnson breaks off a 49-yard touchdown run. It's 14-3 Southern Miss. Jordan Webb and the KU offense really struggled, and again, special teams just breaks down. Another blocked punt here for the Jayhawks. Darren Wilson scoops this one up and sprints in for the touchdown. That play was the killer. The two teams just trade a few scores in the second half. Kansas falls 31-16. They are 1-2 and two here on the young season. Well, with that, we can now shift our focus to the high schoolers. Some amazing games tonight, including a battle of two of the best on the Kansas side. So, let's tee this thing up, and we will... Kick off yet another edition of Football Friday Night. Standing room only is a defending Class 4A chance. Bishop E.H. hosts the 5A favorites, Gardner Edgerton. These two heavyweights trading blows early. Trailblazers up 7-3 when Mark Thorson breaks the tackle, and he wins the sprint to the goal line, 8-7 stags. But G.E. responds all night long. Ryan Weber picks his way into the end zone. Look at Gardner Edgerton, 43-29 to remain unbeaten. Now, many believe Rockhurst is the best team in the Metro this year. They sure look like it tonight against Liberty. It helps when you have a quarterback like Frank Urbanis. He usually does damage with his arm tonight. It was his feet. Urbanis from 10 yards out. And just fast forward a couple minutes here after we go into the stands. And then guess who? Yep, Urbanis again with another keeper. And the Rock rolls 41 to nothing. Blue Springs traveling to undefeated Fort Osage tonight. Blue Springs is a lot better than the record indicates, folks. This one was close for a while. Darian Miller with the fumble. The Fort recovers, but they never could dent the scoreboard in this one. Blue Springs with the little keeper here for the touchdown. The Wildcats starting to come around now. They trounce Fort Osage 35 to nothing. Just down the road, Blue Springs South playing host to Lee Summer West. Fear the Jaguars right now. Calvin Jacobson, a nice touch pass to the corner of the end zone. Blake Horn, the beautiful for body control in the corner for the touchdown, Blue Springs South. At least some West did not go quietly into the night. Marcus Strickland finds the end zone, but Blue Springs South finds a win here tonight, 41 to 17. Uh, you know, Olathe North has been maybe the most dominant team in the Metro the past year and a half, but that rain may be over after tonight. The Eagles taking a 15-game winning streak into a matchup with unbeaten Olathe East. The Hawks up 7-0 early. They were moving the football methodically. Trent Cool to Jill Rizanicki for these nice games. Same drive. Brandon Willingham punches it in. Hawks up two scores already. Olathe North, they have a couple of Division I recruits on this offense, including Victor Simmons, but they went nowhere in a shocker. Olathe the East routes Olathe North 25 to nothing. We now take to the air Sky Tracker with a battle of unbeatens. Baldwin and DeSoto. Baldwin running what looks like a little single wing here. Direct snap to Ryan Rogers. He sprints in for the score. Offense was hard to come by in the first half. Seven to nothing at intermission. A little firepower though in the second half as Baldwin prevails 21 to seven. Now, how about some interscholastic league football here? East versus Central. This is a punt return for Central. Brandon Dean, he finds our camera guy. Don't worry, the camera guy would be okay, and uh, so would Central. How about this? Just a little bit later, a big, long touchdown run for Lonnie Holt. Central blows out their league rivals. They are victorious tonight, 31 to nothing. Here's a few more scores for you. We saw who won on the field, but who was the big winner in the stands tonight? Our Hy-Vee Spirit Award goes to the school that best represents Hy-Vee, Sky Tracker, and NBC Action News with signs and cheers. Tonight's winner is DeSoto High School. The Wildcats win a $100 gift card from Hy-Vee.